The CrossFit Opens are back. And if you're one of the hundreds of thousands of people around the world that are competing, then you're most likely feeling those pre-workout nerves. But do they help? Does this panic get in the way of a good performance? And could you learn to focus your mind, like the pros do, on what's important? Welcome back to Solving the Focus Problem. My name's Will. Whether you do CrossFit or any other type of competition, it's normal to feel nervous beforehand. And nerves are a good thing. It's a sign that you care and want to do well. But sometimes it can be debilitating. You can overthink, become scatterbrained, and then that leads to more mistakes later on. But what are some simple things that we can do to prepare? Well, let's first take a look at what the pros do. They have a short list of steps that they focus on. Firstly, they envision what's to come. They accept it so that they can expect it and know what to do when that happens. Number two, they focus on what they can control. Number three, they stick to a plan. And number four, they keep their motivator in mind. Let's see some of these in action and listen to the fittest on earth, Tia Claire Toomey, giving a pep talk to a fellow athlete before competing. You can hear a rare glimpse from the mindset of a champion in action here. You'll have it, okay? It's not going to be like so hard that you're like you're not going to be able to breathe. It's just going to be how bad do you really want, it, okay? What's like a motivator for you? Like being here? Okay, alright. So like when you have any kind of doubt, just think about where you are and who's judging you, okay? And be like, fuck, like I can do this for me because I believe in you, alright? Tia starts here by saying that it's not going to be easy, it's going to be so hard that you're not going to be able to breathe. This is Tia being real, envisioning the future and accepting the reality that it's going to hurt and that it just comes down to how bad you want it. She then asks, what's your motivator? Doing this helps us find ammo and make sure that we have it ready when we need to later when things get tough. Then she follows it up with, I believe in you. This confidence building, positive affirmation gives you that extra drive. We can either say it to someone else or say it to ourselves and it has the same effect. I believe in you. You got this. Focusing on some of these simple pre-game tips can move us from nervous wreck to focused machines. Next, we have a quick tip from Pat Vellner after his 22.1 win because typically you're used to the bounding, so was the step down different? It is, it's just, that's exactly it, it's different. I don't, I don't wanna say it's easier. You load your legs different. In this workout, your heart rate gets high, that rebounding would keep your heart really high. So it's almost like no excuse to slow down. You can sort of control your heart rate there, find a pattern that's kind to you. I would say that's sort of like your longest movement to get your heart down and get ready to attack the other pieces, but Depends on the athlete you are. If it's a high box for you, just make the right decision. Uh, don't make mistakes, don't fall over, because that stuff's way worse. All right, congratulations, Pat. Thank you. Again, your winner for 22.1. Pat starts talking here about finding a pattern that's kind to you and knowing what kind of athlete you are. Knowing your limits and knowing what you are good at and not so good at allows you to make the right decisions, as Pat says, and make less mistakes. So what Tia and Pat are both alluding to here is that you must have a pre-game plan to focus on. If we focus on that, we narrow down the noise, the emotions, everything going on around us. We put the blinkers on and we just go for it, setting yourself up for a better chance of success. At the end of the day, it all comes down to our ability to focus. Before we finish this video, I always like to give you a little bit of focus practice at the end, a bit of mental training. And one other thing that we can do to help squash those pre-game nerves is to practice focusing on this moment right now. Not what's to come or what's happened in the past, but just grounding yourself in this present moment and staying there. And the better that we can do this, the better that we can focus on an action plan for your event ahead. We do this usually by focusing on a sound or a feeling or a sight and just holding our attention there. The easiest thing we can use right now is our breath because it's always here. Let's do just one minute now, focusing on the ins and outs of your breath, noticing the expanding and contracting of your chest and just staying with it. And if we get distracted, just bring your attention back to that breathing once more. Ready? Let's give it a go. So just staying with that breath in this moment right now, nothing else. 
just focusing on the ins and outs. Staying on that breathing, no matter how fast or slow your breath is, or how deep or shallow, just noticing staying with that breath. And when the mind wanders off like it naturally will, say, no, I'm going to finish this quick meditation and bring my focus back to my breath. Already over halfway through, you got this. Stay with that breathing. And focusing on this moment right now. Final few seconds. Nice work. This is another great tool that you can use to calm the nerves before a competition. Just grounding yourself in this present moment and focusing on the now. Let me know how you got on down in the comments below. I love hearing what you thought. And if you like this session, then please do hit that like button. It only takes a second and really helps boost the channel. And if you haven't already, then please do hit that subscribe button. I do sessions like this every Thursday. And my name is Will, this is Solving the Focus Problem, and I'll catch you in the next one.